Welcome back to Pink Wheel Attack and today we're going to do a special video for you guys who are into vlogging or are getting into vlogging. There is a small bridge between DSLRs and your cell phones these days is because the camera lenses that we have on our cell phones are powerful enough to capture most of the things that a DSLR would. Yes, they do not give the exact output as a DSLR but they get the job done. And if you're a person who is planning to get into vlogging in the new year or are already amateur vloggers, this video will help you understand how we could use one of these phones to record your video, also edit it on the phone. In this case, we're going to try out the Samsung Galaxy Fold 3 because we have two screen real estates and five cameras to play around with. So I'm going to help you understand how you can use the Samsung Galaxy Fold 3 as your daily vlog camera and also help you edit videos on this phone. Let's start off with the tutorial. The Samsung Galaxy Fold 3 has two displays. The one on the outside is a 6.2-inch Super AMOLED 120Hz refresh rate display. And one on the inside is a 7.6-inch, again with a refresh rate of 120Hz Super AMOLED display. There are five cameras on the Fold 3. The three cameras or the primary sensors on the outside are all three 12 megapixel cameras. The one on the inside, which is an under-display camera sensor for the first time on a Samsung phone, is a 4 megapixel sensor and the one on the front screen is a 10 megapixel selfie camera. I'm gonna take you through each of these camera sensors and how they can be effectively used with both of these displays in question. We'll start off this video by talking about the first sensor, which is the under display sensor, which is the smallest sensor with where megapixels are concerned. And if it's used effectively with the larger 7.6 inch display, it's gonna be a very powerful tool or a very handy camera for you guys to use. Let's start off with this camera sensor. Initially, when Samsung Galaxy Fold 3 was launched, the under display sensor was not really that potent as it is now with the update. It's much more better than how the image quality was given by the sensor before. And now that we have an improved sensor, we can use it with the 7.6 inch display. You can use it as a proper viewfinder. You're able to see your feed much more effectively on this main screen and then that gives you a better idea of how you're framing yourself and that in itself is a very powerful tool if you're using it with the display properly. Let's move on to the other sensor which is the 10 megapixel selfie camera and see what kind of an output can you derive from the selfie camera and how or which screen we can use the selfie camera more effectively. Now the selfie camera on the Samsung Galaxy Fold 3 is a 10 megapixel camera, but then the output that the camera provides is very, very neat and crisp as compared to the four megapixel camera that we were primarily using. The other additional options that you get while you're using the selfie camera is everything that you can do with the main sensors. You can shoot a slow motion video. You can also shoot stop motion or even a time lapse. So if you're gonna be using this camera as a viewfinder, along with the main display, which is a 6.2 inch primary display on the front screen, it is a very effective tool. And because the Samsung Galaxy Fold has a folding mechanism, you can use it without a tripod, frame your shot and start rolling. So I can walk into the frame, I can walk out of the frame and though it's a smaller screen, but the advantage that I get here is a better camera sensor as compared to the in-display sensor, which is a four megapixel camera. So shoot what you want, you can flip it. And when you flip it, the other thing that you can also do is when you're using the main sensor, you can still use the secondary display, which is a 7.6 inch display as a viewfinder. So you choose if you want to use the primary display on the outside or the secondary larger 7.6 inch display when you're using the selfie camera. So you have two screen real estates to play with on one single camera, which is effectively a smaller camera as compared to the main sensors, but equally potent. For the primary sensors, we have three camera sensors on the back of the Fold 3. All three of them are 12 megapixel, but all three of them are very different from each other. The first sensor is with a wide lens and it has 126 degrees of field view. The other is a normal sensor, but it still has 76 degrees of field view. And the third is a telephoto lens with 2x optical zoom and the digital zoom can go up to 10x or even more with software update. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use all of these three sensors with the Samsung proprietary director's view mode 
which gives us access to all of these three sensors simultaneously because of which you can shift between which sensor you want to use while you're recording the video. This gives you a larger capability of adding creativity to your videos and we can also use the smaller display as a viewfinder especially when you have the phone sitting on a desk. So one of the things that the phone does eliminate in most of the sensors or the setup that we showed is the need of a tripod so you can just place it anywhere on a flat surface and you're good to go. Apart from the director mode where you're able to use all of the three sensors on the back simultaneously record and choose between the frames if you're doing a normal video like in this case I'll switch to a video I'll mount the phone here so I have my shot planned and then I will switch on the secondary screen for the person who is in question or if you choose to use your primary sensor and you want to go to the other side and make sure that while you're speaking to the camera the framing is right you can use the secondary display as your viewfinder isn't that a neat trick to have at the very start of the video i've mentioned that you can edit your videos on your mobile phone devices and it's not just because the samsung galaxy fold 3 has a much more powerful processor but it's also because of the larger real estate that you get with respect to the screen and when you're using softwares like adobe rush or the default editor that Samsung Galaxy provides, these tools come in handy with the larger screen. It's easier to edit your videos and we're gonna show you how we do it. But we're not gonna download a third party software. We're gonna use the default tool that Samsung has provided with this phone. And we're gonna show you how we can still edit videos much more effectively. For editing, I'll use the default app that is provided by Samsung. And there are a lot of things that I can do directly off the app. I can check my timeline. I can crop it so I can extend or reduce my footage. I can crop the frame as per my requirement. I want to put it on Facebook or if I want to have it on Instagram. I can change the color filters of the camera directly to match the kind of color grading that I want. The other additional thing that I do get is I can draw something on the screen. It can be live or it can be just in real time. The other thing that I like is when I click on face here, I'm able to adjust my face in real time, also my eyes. Now my eyes are not open, let me go to a frame where I have my eyes open, here, let's edit this one. And in this case, if I select eyes, I can increase or decrease the size of my eyes. <laughs> And I'm watching it happen on the screen. I can also add in stickers of my choice. I can customize, custom build my stickers. I can add music. So it's a one-stop shop from shooting my own private videos or editing them. And this is how you can use your Samsung Galaxy Fold 3 as an efficient vlogging camera as well as an editing tool on the go without the need of a tripod in some cases. For more such tech related reviews and how to stay tuned to Pink Villa Tech and if there's anything in particular that you guys would like us to cover, do leave a comment, subscribe and spread the word around. We need to grow. Have a good evening ahead.